Hello all, welcome back to my channel, Drink Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and I am drinking a raspberry cider today. And the craft we're going to be giving a go today is some shoes. I bought these black canvas shoes with the intent of doing some kind of acrylic pour on them. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And I also purchased some deco art fabric painting medium. Um, it gives you all the instructions on the back of how to add this to your acrylic paint. Um, and the end product is washable permanent paint for fabric surfaces. So if you want to use this video to also make shoes or t-shirts or shorts or some kind of fabric, that is what this paint is supposed to do. It's supposed to, um, you can add it to your just regular old acrylic paint and you get fabric paint. So I have never painted on shoes before. I have never used this fabric medium before. So I am excited to give these a test. Okay, so like I mentioned, we are going to be painting these black canvas shoes. Um, I have already pre-taped the sides and stuffed the inside with, uh, they're just regular old plastic shopping bags to kind of give the shoe a little bit more rigidity. Rigidity. <laughs> um, and originally I was toying around with the idea of doing a pour on the entire shoe. Um, however, I think my favorite style of acrylic pouring is the Dutch pours. I just, I really like uh, the lacing and I like, ooh, excuse me, and I like all the cells that show up. And so I am hoping to do a Dutch pour like on the top of these shoes. I don't care so much about the sides, I don't think. So I've only taped up uh, just pretty much to where it opens for your foot to go into because this is where we're going to be doing the most painting. Um, by the way, this took a little bit. <laughs> you know how hard it is to paint or to, uh, to put tape around the edge of a shoe. It's not a flat surface. <laughs> it took a bit, it was kind of tricky. Um, but pretty much I've got two, two prepped shoes that are already taped up. I went all the way to the bottom just in case the paint drips and gets on the bottom. So I kind of went over the edge and they are both stuffed with uh, the plastic bags. If you choose to do um, the entire shoe, like uh, the sides and the back, I would suggest doing something more than just stuffing it with plastic bags. Um, you might wanna tape up the inside, uh, remove the, like the insoles. I've seen that on a few people's videos when they paint their shoes. Um, just to kind of protect the insides and uh, make it look nice and clean at the end. But since we are only going to be doing the front, like the main top of the shoe, that's the only part that I have taped up. So we are going to get uh, to the part where we mix up some paint and we're gonna try to give this a go. So I have all of my colors mixed up. Um, I went with some different shades of like green kind of <laughs> um i have the uh metallic kind of greenish color um from sergeant art i have a kind of a lime green color um what else i've got teal i'm a big fan of teal so 
I've also got a little bit of white. Thought might be just fun for accent. And of course, I've got a decent amount of black mixed up uh, to try to Dutch pour these puppies. Let's see, the instructions for the fabric painting medium say uh, to mix two to one paint to medium. So after adding this medium, you don't need any other kind of, at least I didn't need any other kind of uh, pouring medium. This liquefies it pretty well. Um, dependent on the paint, you may also need to add some water. Um, but other than that, that was all I added. That kind of took place, uh, took place of my pouring medium. And I did not add silicone. Um, I am not entirely sure what silicone would do to the fabric. Um, like if it would throw off the whole balance of this painting medium. Um, if it would like ruin the paint's ability to stay to my shoes. So we're not gonna add silicone to these. We're just gonna do the medium in water and hope it turns out okay. But we're gonna, let me set one shoe aside and we're just gonna do one at first. Uh, because this is such a small surface, I may not even need like an actual blow dryer. I might just be able to kind of blow it with my mouth, um, with my breath. I think I'm gonna try, yeah, to just put some paint down here, put black up here, blow it over top as we usually do with Dutch pours. Blow it over top and then blow it back up. That's the plan. That's the plan. So I am, for the first time, I'm going to be keeping the popsicle sticks in because I'm going to use them to kind of help control where all this paint is going to go. Hey guys, so you get voiceover page really quick to let you know that this method of putting the paint on the shoe does not end up working in the long run. Um, by not putting the base coat of black on the shoe and instead just adding my colors, the paint doesn't spread out and flow the way I want it to. So here in a little bit, you will see that I end up going and totally wiping the shoe clean and starting uh, on a blank canvas because it wasn't really, it didn't have the Dutch pour effect that I was looking for. So we wipe all of the paint off and we're going to try again by actually adding a black base coat prior to the colors. So I know I originally said I wasn't going to just pour black all over the shoe, but when I didn't, um, it ended up not looking as cool. So we're going to try to actually Dutch pour this by um, pouring black over all of it and then we're going to try to do the same thing where we put the colors down here and we're gonna blow it up. Haha, <laughs> blow it up. So there's black on all of it. There's some green. Try to work fast because it all slides off the shoe. All right. 
so there's that. We're going to add a little bit more black around the edge where the paint is hanging out. And I'm going to try to actually So I guess there's, there's one. <laughs> These are not at all what I had pictured. I'm just making a mess on my table. We'll put another one down for the other shoe. And we're gonna try to do that same <coughs> method of uh, pouring black on the whole shoe and then trying to blend it upwards. Um, as you saw <laughs> from the first shoe, this does not turn out like your regular uh, like your standard Dutch pour like if we were to do this on a canvas um, the paint moves differently on a shoe than it does on just like a flat canvas it rolls off the side um, it does not like it doesn't it doesn't have the nice veins and everything that I was that I love so much about Dutch pores. But I don't know. We'll see how they turn out. I'm gonna drink first. Alright. Shoe number two. Shoe number two. So if we follow our second way, I poured black paint everywhere. So there is black everywhere. And now we're gonna try to do the other colors. Slow. As much, I don't know, control as we can muster. All right, and then we're going to do black around it, and we're going to give it a go.
just set them next to each other and give them a nice look. Well, I think they're pretty cool. I've got some aqua lacing on both of them. Um, neither of them turned out the way I thought they were going to be. But, uh, so let's see. If I, what did I learn from this? Um, if you guys choose to do this, um, I would suggest just doing a straight up pour, like filling a cup up with different colors and just pouring it on. Um, even sitting here like looking at this, some of the cool lacing and uh, sort of the cells that popped up um, are kind of like dripping down the sides. Because they're shoes. As far as trying to do like a Dutch pour kind of style on these, uh, even after coating the whole shoe in black and doing it more similarly to a canvas, um, it ended up requiring like a lot more of using the popsicle sticks and doing like small dots at a time. Um, that seemed to work a lot better than like kind of last week when we did like a whole line and then blew the purple colors over top, uh, both sides of the canvas. That doesn't do so well on these shoes. But so I will leave these to sit for 24 hours, um, just in case maybe even more. I'll, I'll let you guys know how long they take to dry and uh, we'll see what they look like once they're all dried up. We had another nice day so I brought them out so you guys can see. I think the colors turned out pretty cool. Kind of looks like I stepped in like atomic slime. <laughs> I did actually have some small areas where the paint leaked underneath the tape and I was able to clean up some of it with some isopropyl alcohol so if you guys give this a go and need to clean up like the rubber underneath try some isopropyl alcohol but other than that uh, like I mentioned putting the paint on using the popsicle sticks in small areas like little by little ended up controlling it uh, the paint a lot better than trying to do like one giant like a lot of paint on the edge and blowing it up so that's what I learned from these and I do also plan on uh, I purchased some scotch guard uh, like waterproofing spray so I'll keep you guys all updated on how that seals up these shoes and protects them from the elements Thank you all for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed it, even though it was a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> all of my links are in the description box down below if you'd like to check out my Instagram or my Facebook. My PayPal is also listed below if you feel like donating. Um, I also have some pieces up for sale on my Facebook if you'd like to check any of those out. I hope you guys are all uh, staying home, staying healthy, being safe, and I hope you guys are all making it through this quarantine as well. We're all in this together. So I will see you all for my next video.